We talked about uh, several times on the show in the past. Automatic. It's a it's a little thing you can get on your car uh, that you connect to the OBD port. I think I got that right. It's that thing that usually you get your diagnostics from, but mm-hmm. it, it 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 turns in it, it adds this Bluetooth functionality, communicates with your phone and an app on there, Android or iPhone, and gives you a lot of information about your about about what's going on on there basically right uh well i got an email today about um one they, they got a little bit of a new version uh coming up and this is what i'm kind of I, I'm, I'm trying to see what's going on here because they do have a new version of the unit that's supposed to do more and i'm trying to see if this is you know i haven't been able to dig enough into this kind of check but they also have an app gallery Okay, so their app gallery, this is apps for your automatic, for your phone, so you basically apps for your car. And if we go into it, and let's take a look here at the website, so uh, automatic.com slash apps, if you want to check this out. Uh, you know, cool stuff, like and this one caught my attention, fresh books. I can create invoices from my mileage. And that, that's one of the things I noticed. I saw you posted this, and I actually read about this this afternoon as well. Mm-hmm. And one of the, one of the companies that I noticed was Concur, mm-hmm. which is a, which is another expense system. And I know a lot of large enterprises that use uh, the, the Concur app and use Concur's services. So much like FreshBooks, I see that's where I think. This is perfect. So a lot of this is trip tagging, and even I, I opened up the app. I hadn't opened up the, the app for a bit. We actually have it on our car, the order of our cars that doesn't do the long distance as much anymore. So it's become a slightly yes, less useful. The car really uh, sits more than more often than not, and it's more short local trips. So it's not quite as effective as it used to be for me. But still, you know, a lot of times that's what I take on certain uh, trips because I'm carrying a lot of equipment locally at least for productions so to have that mileage and report that because even you know uh, taxes you're just kind of estimating and i think they mostly just accept that but still to have more of a yeah of course i drove this and it, it but i opened up the app and 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 one there was a few things it, one, they uh, asked me what brand of gas that i use like what level of gas that i usually pick so they can properly uh, uh work out mileage a little a little better Okay, and you can also do trip tagging and say this is a business trip, and that's where this con- this goes over to services. Looks like they're just applying those services to these different, um, um, you know, already out there uh, services like Expensify, Concur, uh, FreshBooks, uh, TripDot, Sherpa Share, Zero. Uh, you know, it, it, it's you know about costs, about applying this to your business, and I think that's a tremendous application, and not really a high end one, no. But still, um, they have more. Um, there's a Pebble app, Chilla. That's what I, I just noticed. I, there I is, hadn't scrolled down earlier, but I, I did. There is it. a Pebble app where you parked right on your wrist. Uh, yeah. Nest is is in this. If this, then that. If t- is in there. Jawbone up. Rescue time. Spot angels. Uh, reminders uh, to save you from parking tickets. Yo. Oh no. <laughs> I, I don't understand why that one's in there, but why not? Why not? Yo, yo, yo sounds like something that's from Silicon Valley as a joke. Uh, but apparently it's just an app where you send yo to somebody. Mm-hmm. That's it. And now you can do it via your car. Uh, let's see. We got uh, Unmooch, your mechanic, uh, house calls for car repair, license plus, and also stuff for performance, including dash command, OBD fusion and Harry's time uh, lap timer. So that's for, Okay. So it looks like we're able to use, so I have the first generation, kind of the pre-release, like early release unit, right? Uh, mm-hmm. Before, like it was, I think we pre-ordered it, and it took a few months to get, so it is that first collection. They didn't even have Android versions of it just yet. And uh, for the, you need the second generation for the stuff like Dash Command, which is real-time performance data, Harry's Time Lapper, live metrics and video overlays. Okay, and uh, OBD Fusion's beautiful streaming gauges and indicators. This is like uh, uh, Fuzzy's been on this. Frank's been on here before talking about, it, and I've seen this in his car where he has an Android and he has an OBD thing, or maybe he Bluetooth so it, with because he's got kind of newer, fancier cars than us, uh, and and he's able to pull up all these gauges that I don't even know what half of them do right on his Android tablet and just mounts that on his dashboard and there you go. It looks like this is this appears to be something similar uh, that you can do that. And of course you need a new unit that uh, it'll it'll take advantage of, of a few of these newer things. You know, I mean I have a two thousand five car. I, I looked at it and, and low low uh, low fuel 
uh, uh, reminder isn't even an option on there, but I know it is on the newer one, right? So, mm-hmm. and I and I and I've kind of battled with that. Should I get one for the newer car because it is it does have sync and it does have the mileage on there, you know, you know, miles till empty, for instance, and you know the 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 low fuel reminders at fifty and twenty five. You know, it has a few of those bells and whistles already built in, but this makes it worthwhile for me to drop another hundred bucks on a unit and put it in there. 